Hey, I'm Marie Poulin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I use daily themes to keep myself organized inside of Notion. Theming your days can help reduce that context switching that happens when you're switching between different types of tasks. I've been relying heavily on theming, both within my Google Calendar and in terms of how I think about my time. But now I've started integrating a themes database inside of my Notion space that is connected up to my daily journal. And that's really helping me structure my days a little bit better and to manage all of the things that I have on my plate to help me organize my commitments and daily practices, routines, etc. Examples of this are I don't block any calls on Tuesdays as much as possible to really give myself time to record YouTube videos, to create content, to do work that requires deep focus. And so I will try to batch calls on certain days of the week or studies on certain days of the week. I actually stole this idea from my husband, but he set up this themes database. And so I'd previously been doing this through daily templates inside of my daily journal. But I think by having an actual themes database and pulling that into your daily journal and making it part of your template, there's a lot of kind of fun, creative things that you can do with this database. So I'm going to jump in and show you what these themes look like in my own Notion workspace, and hopefully it inspires you. So here we are in the themes page. As you can see, it's pretty simple. There's basically a database that includes a day of the week. Each day has a theme, projects that it gets associated with, items from my library. This is my resource library of things I'm studying, courses that I'm taking, masterminds that I'm in, and daily practices. So there may be some things that I want to do once a week, and so those might only get included on that day. Similarly, if there are habits, routines, things that you want to track, or even recurring meetings, you could certainly put that in your day. So this is what it looks like in a table view. I can switch it over so that you can see it in a board view just to see what this looks like by day. So Monday, I've got part-time YouTuber Academy. These are the projects that I'll be working on. These are the journal entries. And as you can see, it's actually connected to my, my Monday uh, journal template, which I'll show you what that looks like, and the practices that I want to do on Monday. Inside the body, I can do a little bit more detail in terms of uh, planning content. What are the things that I want to do? And I can check those off. So those are all just there for reference. And I can adjust this over time, no problem. Each day, again, has its own different properties. So that's what it looks like in this mode. Where the power of this comes in is connecting this up to your daily journal templates. Some of you, again, are going to have different templates than me. I like to have a template for every day of the week because, again, I do different types of activities regularly on Monday than I do on Thursday or Friday. So I'm going to jump in and show you what one of these templates looks like. If I jump into Monday, you can see the theme. This is already uh, connected up. So I'm editing a template inside of Journal. And so whenever I make a new entry in my journal and I click Monday, it's going to spin up all of these properties here. And what is happening here is, I'm going to remove this so you can see what's actually happening. So if I just added this template, all it would do is update the day property and the don't break the chain things that I have here. And I got some filters happening below, but there's not a ton of properties happening here. In fact, I've got a ton of properties here. So none of those are updated. But as soon as I update this theme here and connect this up to Monday, you can see now there's some data here. And the idea is I've already decided what Monday needs to be. And this is just pulling in through rollups. It's basically a recommended itinerary for the day. So it's saying, remember, you said these projects are most important on Mondays. This is the course that you got to be taking. Spend an hour doing these studies. Here are the practices that you need to do. So it becomes this again, itinerary of activities that are going to make sense for you to do on this day. And it just makes it so much easier to visualize the work that you need to do in a single day. It's really simple, but having this day's database can help you make that stuff a little bit easier. And you can connect that up in, in all sorts of different ways. So for example, let's say you have some tasks and you actually want to connect those up to your day's database. Right now, I haven't even done that, but we do a team meeting every single Monday. So that might actually be, that might actually make sense to connect this up to my actions database. And that way we always know, again, there will always be our team meeting and that sort of thing or calendar items. And so you can choose how far you want to go with this, but by using the rollups and pulling all of that data into your Monday entry, that's just magnifique. 
I've been theming my days for a long time, but I've just been doing it with Google calendars. But I think actually having this days database is going to make things a lot more fun and easy. So I'm trying to do a better job of that daily tracking and uh, being really consistent. And again, especially if you're taking different online courses and tracking multiple courses at the same time, it's helpful to say, Tuesdays are my day, I'm going to do this. Thursdays are my day, I'm going to take that course. So breaking things up like this has been really helpful for wrapping my brain around having a lot of different things on the go, but just making sure that we're being really efficient with our time and batching our time in, in smart ways. So hope this is helpful. Curious if you'll consider doing a day's database. It might feel like overkill for some of you, depending on whether or not you're already very comfortable journaling. But for me, I've been doing it for, for long enough and I've already... I was already theming my days, but I just wasn't making use of these sort of pre-recommended activities that I think are going to be really important for each day. So I hope that's helpful. I'll include a template below as like a starting point. And of course, you're going to want to make it your own by connecting up those relations. Best of luck to you as you set up your daily themes.